Hi everyone, it's Mary. I am in my kitchen trying to catch up. Um, I'm always trying to catch up in, with housework, but um, it was Lexi's birthday yesterday. And, um, well, <clears throat> let me back up a little bit. She took a road test the day before her birthday. Cause she had planned to uh, take the car and meet up with her friends and go for, you know, like an after-school kind of early dinner. Well, uh, she when she took a road test, everything was going really well. Final left turn to go back to the motor vehicle branch. And uh, the woman felt that her last left turn was too close. And um, she automatically failed Lexi. She had no demerits before then. Everything was perfect. She had done so many left turns. Um, but uh, the last left turn, um, the woman thought it was too close. So uh, then when Lexi realized she had failed, she the left turn she made <laughs> was too wide, so she got a demerit for that. Anyways, um, the, I mean, I, I don't disagree with the way um, our system is because our, our actual... Uh, license procedure or getting your license is actually very very tough um, <clears throat> my husband was reading that it's one of the toughest in North America because what happens is um, when you turn 16 you're allowed to take your road, your written tests and then when if you pass your written test you get your L and the L is a learner and you can go on the road with an adult that's over 25 um, to learn how to drive and you have to do that for a whole year you cannot take a road test until you have had your learners for a year. So then once you take your learners, you go for your road test, right? And if you pass your road test, um, you have um, two years to like get experience. And then after the two years, you can, you have to go for another road test. And if you pass that, then you get your regular license. Now, um, if you go to a certified driving school, um, they cut off, uh, instead of two years with your new driver's license, your N, um, you get a year and a half, and then you can go for your road test, and then you have your regular driver's license. <clears throat> but uh, where Lexi went, um, there's like a 22% failure rate. Now, it does 22% doesn't seem like a lot, but if you think about it, it that's not how many how many people have passed on their first try with taking the exam. Um, the 22% includes having tried like the second or third time, so that reduces the percentage really, right? Because eventually you will pass, if that makes sense. Um, but it's very tough. Um, my daughter's friends, she knows of one guy who has passed, um, first time. The others have either <laughs> passed the second, third, or fourth time. Uh, she even has one friend who has taken it three times and still hasn't passed. And I don't know when she's going to go for her next one. But the problem is trying to book a appointment to take your road test because Lexi can retake her test in two weeks time. But there is no appointment in our area or even close to our area until at least minimum a two months, I think it's two months. Um, we've been told that we can call every morning and try to see if there is an opening, if somebody hasn't shown up and just go. Or the other option <clears throat> is what we're gonna do. Um, there is testing appointments available far away. <laughs> it's five hours away, a city five hours away um, that uh, she can have in two weeks time. And, you know, I feel bad because she's a really good driver. I, I'm not kidding. She is. I did not think that she would fail. I really didn't. I, I mean, am I upset? No. I mean, 
I feel bad for her because I because even the woman this is what kind of hurt her was she's like oh my god oh my goodness mom if I had waited five min five seconds you know I would have gotten my driver's license and um because the woman said you're a very good driver the only thing was the last left turn <laughs> but Alexa's like I made so many other left turns why couldn't I have just waited but in a way it's fine like I my heart hurts for her because I would have loved for her to get a driver's license but maybe this experience will save her. Maybe if she thinks, um, you know, she's going to make a left turn and she thinks about what happened, she'll wait that extra five seconds to um, make sure she has a safe turn. So we're going back in two weeks. We're going to drive the five hours one way and five hours back. And hopefully she gets her and so she can drive on her own. Um, I'm not worried because she's taken, we've, we've paid the money, she's taken the driving school. I've driven with her, um, to be honest, she's probably a better driver than me. I see her doing all the things, like they teach her about the 360 degree check. <laughs> and I'm like, she's about to take a left turn, I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm doing the 360 degree check. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, you know, she, they've taught her how to avoid an accident. I mean, it's, it was great. It was worth the money. I feel good. I am confident she's, she's going to drive well. Um, you know, I, it would have been great if she had her driver's license, but who knows? Maybe this will save her. Just a, sort of a memory in her head that wait instead of just go. If you are in doubt, just wait. Um, <clears throat> anyways. <laughs> so... We, I am uh, trying to catch up. Uh, my pile of, my pile, it's not even a pile, it's a mountain of clothing. I'm about halfway through. Um, I think I'm going to have to put my timer on because I am not focused. I've done my nails. <laughs> I'm on YouTube videotaping when I should be folding. But, um, yeah, I might have to put my timer on and get that stuff done. But yeah, I'm catching up. Um, I really need to, to catch up because I'll tell you what happened. So I was out with my daughter um, since it was her birthday and we were looking for places for her party for next year. And uh, my mother and her sister came to visit to drop off a present for Lexi. And we went there and Jordan was homesick. So <laughs> you know how when your house is not clean and people pop by and you kind of get this attack of panic because you're thinking they're going to come in. Well, you know, I've been renovating my scrapbook room, so I have a pile. Like, my living room is clean, but I have a pile still in my family room that I have to go through and sort and throw out. Um, part of me just wants to, like, throw it all out because <laughs> I don't even know what's in there. But I know if I don't go through it, I'm going to throw something important away. Anyways, um... So when my son told me this, I'm like, did they come in? Because especially my aunt, my aunt's here, right, from the Philippines. Did they come in? Did they come in? And George's like, no. I met them at, um, at the front door and I went outside. And so they dropped off the gift and then they said bye. And I'm sure my mother and my aunt think, oh my gosh, my son was not hospitable because, um, you know, they, he didn't invite them in. <laughs> But really, he knew that if he let them in, I would have panicked. Oh, I hate that. I really um, need to get my house in order. But I, you know what? I'm sorry. In the Philippines, you have maids and you have drivers and you have all this kind of stuff. Here, you have to do everything yourself. Uh, you know, you drive your kids. It's not like you can just say, okay, go with the driver. He'll drive you to your activity while I stay home. And they have maids that do the laundry and cook and all that stuff. So, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got to get back to my cleaning. Um, oh, you know another thing that happened to me today? Do you ever get have this where um, you're starting to clean, you're in that mode, and you're like, okay, this is going to be a great morning. I got up at 5 this morning. So I'm like cleaning up the kitchen, cleaning up the counters, because nobody else here cleans. And uh, 
um, I'm like, okay, I have this much time and then, you know, take the kids over to my girlfriend's house and she'll drive me to school and then I'll continue on. Well, my daughter gets up, down, gets down about 6.20 and she says, we have to leave in about 15 minutes. And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's only 6.20. She's like, I told you, remember, that I have to be at school at 7 o'clock, which means I have to drive her. I'm like, uh, no, I don't remember that. She goes, I told you. And I'm like, you told me like three days ago. <laughs> it would have been nice if you reminded me. But I know I should have written in my day planner, but eh, a little reminder would have been nice. <laughs> so I was like, crap. You know, I haven't had breakfast. I was planning on having breakfast, you know, doing a little bit of meditation. <laughs> well, no, I had to like get out of the house, actually get dressed, uh, drive her to school, which is 40 minutes, and then 40 minutes back and have to get my husband. I have to wake up my husband, tell him, you got to drive Jordan to my girlfriend's house. So, uh, it was one of those mornings, but um, at least today, I don't have to go into the office because uh, everything's running smoothly there and there's nothing urgent that needs my attention. So I'm gonna work on the house and get it clean because I don't need anybody else to come into the house looking like this. <laughs> I hate the fact that I'm like so panicky that people might come into my home and see how horrible we live. <laughs> so, um, uh, but you know what? I'm not upset with myself because if you had seen my schedule between the competitions, you know, driving school, <sighs> birthdays, uh, I don't know how anybody does it. How, how do people who have crazy schedules, um, keep their house clean, drive their kids. How do they do it? Well, I know how. They have help. <laughs> like my mother-in-law even told me, why don't you just get somebody to help you clean the house? And I'm like, well, this is the thing. Number one, I'm cheap. I don't feel like I need to pay somebody when we can do it ourselves. Well, really me, because nobody else helps, really. Um, and then... The other thing is, um, I've had housekeepers before, and the problem is, is that I have to clean for them to clean. Like, I have to, like, tidy up all this stuff, because I don't want them to see, like, that we are slobs. So I'm, like, picking everything up just so that they can clean. So I'm like, well, what's the point of this? <laughs> oh, Lord, the problems I have really... It's not really a problem. <laughs> and there's worse things in the world. This is not a problem. Uh, it's just, my life is funny. All right, um, I better go, because honest to goodness, if I continue on, uh, I'll never get anything done. Because I have to pick up my kids today too, because um, I didn't buy them bus passes. Um, because I thought Lexi would be driving by now. So, mm, oh well. I'm sure she'll get it. Um, in two weeks' time. Anyways, I hope. Pray, pray, pray. <laughs> uh, for me and her. Okay, thanks, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.